Hello everyone and welcome back to the Daily Tips. Tomorrow racing Aston Mornington for a packed Wednesday meeting there with some good races. Can't wait to get stuck into it. We've got five coming from Mornington tomorrow, so let's get on with it. We'll start with race two, number two, Lady Court. Um, I think this horse is a good chance of winning tomorrow. Draws gate eight. We'll go forward, and if Mornington plays leaderish, it can hold on and win. I was there last start when I won at Sandown, did it oh so impressively. Hopefully, you can replicate that. We'll move on to race four, number one, Tropicone. This horse draws well, has to prove itself over 1,600 metres, but I think it's got the best form in the race, and I think should be favourite. Was good behind Jenny Jerome last start, uh, and was good in the Tobin bronze before then, so I think it's a good chance. We move on to race five, number 10, Delicious Tycoon. This horse should get a very cosy run from gate one. It's proven over the distance. Uh, needs to find some form, but I reckon at its best, it's a good winning chance, and the market's sort of forgotten about it a bit. So we've got Delicious Tycoon in there. And moving on to race six, number five, King Kuba. This horse has found winning ways off a disappointing start to the campaign. From gate five, we'll go forward. We'll absolutely eat up 2,000 metres going to the front. And from gate five, I reckon it's a good winning chance and represents value. And then finally, we'll move on to race eight. Number four, Rock Artist. Two back, this horse was very poor. Don't think it handled the very heavy going. But pro um, since then, it's gone to Flemington and run well behind Sai. From gate eight, Dean Yandel can get it into a good spot and it's pretty good odds. So those are the five from Mornington tomorrow, but I'll see you for Thursday.